Hello, I'm Big Al, and this is Whiskey Straight. What about you, whiskey lovers, and a belated Happy New Year? Yes, I'm back. Apologies for the, I think, was it three week, maybe, break uh, since my last review on Christmas Eve. I haven't been too well, but then again, I never really am. When you're dealing with a debilitating chronic illness that basically banjaxes your immune system when something else goes wrong, normal crappy becomes extra crappy. But I'm starting to come around a wee bit and feeling normal crappy again. And while I did feel pretty grotty for most of December and the start of the new year, at least, I didn't get as close to the forever box as I did in October with the uh, unfortunate experience in hospital and crash teams and the like. So less about that. Still here. Still firing. Well, a few cylinders anyway. Let's get right on into why we're here to talk about whiskey. And I thought I would start off the new year with one of the newer Irish whiskies and that's the Hinch 12 Amarola cask. Now, as you know, 12 year old whiskey spent 11 years in Irish bourbon casks and then that last year in the Amarona cask. Now, it's a bottle of 46% ABV. It comes in at 70 quid. But there are only 4,000 bottles available and only 600 in Northern Ireland. So, if you want to pick up a bottle, you know, get out there and do it, because they'll probably not last too long. Then again, you might want to hear what I think of it before you get it. Now, I like the Hinch. Big fan of their whiskey, and I'd heard good things about this in the pipeline as some of the insiders were tasting it as it came to fruition. So it was very nice to be able to pick up a bottle. And as you can see, from behind. There's not too much of it left. I've shared some of it, mind you, but I... Let's get right on into it. If you have a pour of this, or any whiskey that tickles your fancy, bring it in your glass and we'll share a wee dram together. Sluncha, on the nose. Pear, honey. And then the bourbon influence comes into play. There's vanilla. Some floral notes come into the into the mix there too, but oak. Quite a burst of oak, in fact. Some element of mixed nuts as well, but overall it's bright and fresh. Right, there's some kiwi coming into play too, which is I don't think I've ever got a kiwi a note from whiskey before, but. It's not a bad thing. Kiwis are nice. Some marzipan now. Wee touch of light parma violet. A hint of lime. Now I'm getting some wood polish as well. But what the overall feeling on the nose here, while it's quite contrasty and complex, is that it's given that feeling that this is going to be a, a rich, full body pour. So let's get right on into the palate and see if that's actually going to be true. Launch on. Big vanilla head up front. And it grows. Vanilla pod. A bit of a white peppery spice as it transitions across the palate. But really, really first off in this initial sip, it is heavily influenced by vanilla. Big hit of good vanilla, not our artificial vanilla, really good, nice vanilla. And I do like vanilla. And it comes across as well as velvety and a bit of creaminess there on the palate too. And you can already tell that this is going to be a long, nice, lingering finish. So we're going again. Obviously that vanilla is still there. Now here comes, again, 
that will be bourbon influence. It's rich, it's robust, but not in a bad over the top way. It's just nicely, nicely done. That oak, the vanilla, lovely balance of flavour. And then it becomes a wee bit sweeter. You get a bit of light nuttiness. Peanuts, red skin peanuts. Four things that I really like. And they add a nice depth to that flavour as well. This is going down a treat, it really is. Try again. Once again, it's hitting all the right spots. It's ticking all the right boxes. Now there's a wine influence. It's like white wine. Nice, sort of vibrant white wine. A white wine that you like to sit down to on a, on a nice bright sunny day. Then here comes a drop of Pinot Noir. So much going on across the nose and the palate in this whiskey. It's really a delightful pour. Milk chocolate. It's rich, it's velvety. And now right on the back end again as it goes towards the end of the palate, some black cherry. Very, very nice indeed. As I've already alluded to, the finish. Yes, it's long, it lingers nicely. It's got a, there's a nice, rich, full-bodied, mouth-coating, velvety finish. Lovely feel. And surprisingly, when it comes to the finish, that vanilla dissipates slightly. And then what you've got is a whiny milk chocolate, even black cherry flavours that bring this to a long, lingering, but exceptionally pleasant uh, close on the palate. All in all, this is a fantastic whiskey, but it's bloody expensive. You know, 70 quid for a 12 year old whiskey. Mm, that is a touch on the high side. You know, you could argue because it's a limited edition, you know, there's only 4,000 balls. Only 600 Northern Ireland, you know, with that limited nature of it, could push the price up. But all again, is it worth it? Well, I like it. I'm not the sort of guy that would fork out 70 quid uh, very often for such whiskey. But you know what? I'm glad I've got this one because it really is nice. And in terms of when I'm doing my reviews yes i'll mention the price and i'll tell you guys what the price is and you can you can make up your own minds and whether it's worth it for you or not depending on your financial means uh, but taking the price out of the equation and just judging the whiskey on what it is this is really damn good stuff and a cracking way to start the 2022 and I hope it really is 2022 this year and not just 2021 Mark II. Because 2021 was a bloody great year, wasn't it? That way. Anyway, don't get me started on a rant. Uh, you know what it's like when I go on one of those. Anyway, time for a score. I would give this 91. Really, really lovely whiskey and well done, Hinch. So with all that said, let's move on into 2022 and hope that it brings for each of you guys, and hopefully even me too, all our hearts desires and plenty of good, good whiskey. And some damn fine good dirty whiskey too. Thanks for your ongoing support. Really appreciate it. Welcome aboard to my new subscribers. Please join in. Uh, the chat and the crack it's always good to have a bit of banter uh, when you're drinking whiskey together let me know your thoughts please comment like and share if you so desire and 
big word of thanks to you guys who follow me and support me on subscribe star and patreon it really does mean a lot to me and here's as i say to a better 2022 and as always you know where it goes look after yourselves look after each other and keep on drinking your whiskey the way you like it sláinte Thanks for watching folks, I really do appreciate it. Please check out these other reviews and if you'd like to support the channel, the best way is by subscribing, liking and commenting. And don't forget to ring that bell for all video notifications so you don't miss out on any future content. Cheers.